Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen and today for the first video regarding the diet pie as promised on the last one which in my opinion is the best operating system which will allow me in a very easy way install other operating systems and apps like Plex servers, MB servers and so on and so forth we will have to cover a lot but in this particular video the objective is only one to see how it looks, the installation and so on and so forth and see uh, the advantages and disadvantages of using, well, probably not the disadvantages and advantages, see how it works and what I believe to be the strongest point, which is a very easy to install other app. So without further ado, let's go for it. I'm recording the screen as you guys can see right over here, but I'm also, uh, I also have a backup right over here just in case that something goes wrong. Last night when I was testing, I had a few hiccups. But this is all very self-explanatory in my opinion, but I would like to start by the beginning. What I did was to download Diet by Image from their website. I will leave a link down below. Once we have downloaded, I always use Balena Etcher, which is a software that is available for macOS and Windows so that we can write that image to our microSD card and then I plus place the microSD card on the Raspberry Pi 4 and boot it up and we are right over here. The only thing is that we will need to wait a couple of minutes uh, to get to this login screen but that's the point that we are now moving on all I need to do right now is uh, press hit return to login my login is root as it says on the screen and my password is diet by and that's it we will start and it will give me a few messages and options right over here if you want to read all of them but nothing special if I want to I don't want to change the password I would suggest if you are doing this uh, as a real thing, great. I'm just testing right over here. So I will keep the password for ease of use. So I will cancel and cancel and serial console. Okay, so I can disable because uh, I will not need it. And I will save some resources from the, diet, from the Raspberry Pi. So press OK. And one of the things that I would like to leave here is that in my opinion, the way that I do things is when I don't know what I'm doing, I will accept the suggestion of the system. And in this particular case, that was the suggestion. And here we are on the first screen. Now, what I'm going to do is optional. Uh, and basically, I'm going to install a desktop called LXDE, which will allow me to do the same thing that we can do on this screen with, with a more graphical, a nicer graphical aspect. So that's what we are going to do right now. And as you can see, we have a lot of options right over here. If I want to go to Diet by Config, I can. And then I've got the display options, uh, which we will cover later on. But you can figure it out by yourself audio performance options and network and so on and so forth. By the way, if you have any questions regarding any of the aspects, leave them down below because sometimes I think, well, it's self-explanatory, but if you go into a, a wall, then we will try to help not only me, but this great community right over here. So let's move back to the previous uh, main screen. And what I want right now is I want to install software that's already optimized for the Raspberry Pi through the Diet Pi. And when I press right over here on software optimized, uh, it will give me a huge list. As you guys can see, uh, we will install LXDE. So I'm going to press the space bar to select, but I could install like five or six or 10 or whatever. I've got a 64 gigabytes, by the way, uh, in terms of micro SD. Um, but we could install right out of the way at the bat sorry a lot of software as you can see there is a lot and i'll post the screen right over here I'll try not to forget uh, it has about 120 apps slash operating system that that we can choose from so this is one of the reasons that i'm really happy to discover this thing and i didn't discover by myself it was a tip from a subscriber of the channel thumbs up right over there and let's move on now i have selected lxde uh, only one reason which is to show you that we can do the same on uh, the desktop and we can do the same on the background on this kind of interface which is not as good looking so i'm going to 
uh, move to OK and press OK. And it will say, would you like to configure the auto boot options for the Diet Pi? We can take a look, but we are not going to configure right now. Um, and this is the auto start options. Now, it will give me the options to start any um, desktop app, which will be the LXDE. We can start Kodi, for example, we can start a lot of situations right up here. At this moment, the option that is selected is the zero, which is manual login, and we will leave it as it is for now. So let's move back. And right now, what I need to do to install the LXDE or any other app that you have selected is go to the install and go start installation for the selected software. Press OK. And right over here, would you like to begin? Yes. So what this is going to do is going to do everything for us. And I will be right back in a few moments because it will take more or less, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. So it was just a few milliseconds right over there, but in here were about eight, 10 minutes or so. Now, one of the questions that is asking me right now is if I want to upgrade the GPU memory or increase the GPU memory bandwidth. I'm going to press OK, and it will put me on hold for a few more minutes, probably one minute, and we will be right back. Now on this next screen, uh, it will just uh, give me the option to opt in and upload data for uh, Diet by Survey or opt out. And for now, I'm going to opt out as this is a test machine. So as no interest, I'm going to press OK. And um, it, that's it. In terms of the installation, this is it. What we have right now is Diet by the backend and also LXDE as a desktop option which we will see in just a few moments. So right now, I'm going to press OK, it's going to reboot, and we are back on this login screen, so let's log in again. My uh, username and password is still the same, root and diet by. In case that you have changed the password, you will need to insert the new one right over here. And here we are on the menu, which uh, at the first uh, glance, it will not give us much information, but all we need is these three uh, options on the top, Diet by Launcher, Diet by Config, and Diet by Software, which will give us the options to install everything else. Now, my favorite is Diet by Launcher because it concentrates everything. So I'm going to put here Diet by and slash Launcher. And when I press OK, it will give me the menu. And of course, we did install a desktop, which we'll see in just a few moments, but I just want to show you that we will have all the options right over here. So if I want to go to Diet by Software and select more software, I can do it right over here. And this is one of the reasons that the LXDE, I do believe that has advantages, but it's optional. I can do everything right over here. So if I want to go for optimized software, it will show me that I already have one installed, LXDE, but if I want, I can just select this one and this one and this one and whatever I want to install will be Fine. So I'm not going to install any right now. We are just going to exit. Um, but just to show you guys that installing apps and operating systems is really easy on the Pi, on the Diet Pi. Sorry. Now what I can see right over here is that uh, we will have also uh, a few more options, which we are not going to cover right over here because I want to show you the same exact options on the desktop. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to press exit. And do you wish to exit Diet by Software? Okay, and I do. And uh, once again, there is one thing that I would like to share with you, which is the auto start option. I can go to the auto start, and at this moment, I've got manual login. I'm going to leave it right now as it is, and then we will change it uh, to an automatic login. But I could choose the Light uh, DM, which is LXDE, uh, to be the first thing that it boots, or I can select any other software that I've got installed. Now, I don't want that. I want to start it to, just to show you how we can start without the uh, automatic login. So I'm going to exit to the command line and the only thing that I have to do is start X. This is the command line to start. Now, one thing that I would like to mention is that Diet Pi has a lot of information. Even the most beginner will be able to discover everything. What I suggest is that you go to the software that you just installed, click on it, and it will give you the information of what you need to do. If it's a Plex server, what is the address? If it's an MB server, what is the address? And so on and so forth. So to start the, the desktop app, I just need to put this start X and press enter 
and uh, it will start booting up the uh, desktop which is right over here because I already had my username and password and that is it. Now this is great because do you remember the Diet Pie launcher that we were using on that not so friendly interface? We have it right over here. So I can do everything from the desktop. I can also have for example a browser right over here. Uh, so this is a lot more friendly in my opinion and it doesn't cost cost as much resources as we think. It's really, really light. I'm not going to open the browser right now. It doesn't, yeah, cl close tabs, close everything. Um, but one thing that we are going to change right now is the auto start. So I want to start uh, uh, the LXTE every time that I boot my machine. So I'm just going to press OK. And as you can see, uh, it says option 0 and right now it says option 16 which is right over here. So as you can see right there on the screen, that is it. Once I reboot, it will go, come back to um, the LXDE and of course I can always revert this to manual login or whatever I want to do. Uh, there is a lot of freedom in this thing and I, I'm loving it, I'm loving it and I will try to share as much as possible. Some things that I do believe that are granted, please feel free to ask down below. There are no stupid questions at all. There are sometimes stupid answers, but questions none of them are. So feel free to do that. Guys, I think that I'm not forgetting anything besides uh, going to the... Uh, and I'm, I can close this. Going to the reboot so that we can see uh, if it comes uh, to the... Uh, desktop or not. It's the only thing that we are missing. So log out and I'm going to select reboot and we are going to reboot the system just to see if it's working or not. And here we are. So with the login screen right now I need to put the username and password which is root and diet pi and I can just log in to the desktop so really easy to change the app that we want. For example, the other day I was playing around with a lot of apps and Kodi was one of the apps that I had right over here. Now we have some other options to install Kodi, but I could place Kodi as a starter um, and it didn't come to the desktop. And on the background I had a Plex and a MB server, which is great. By the way, the next video will be about Plex setting it up, which is really easy, but I want to share that as well with you guys. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way, and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.